uh, we are going to go over these notes on qualitative and quantitative observations. This is this is a part of chemistry class, kind of an introduction to what chemistry is. And chemistry is the study of matter uh, and the changes that matter undergoes. Matter is anything that has mass and volume. And as it shows in the example there, it says you. Because you have mass and you have volume, so you contain or are made up of matter. And everything that exists in the universe is made up of matter. So whatever you're thinking about, a phone that you're probably holding dearly to right now, uh, flowers, living organisms, and we have gasoline, different plastics and cleaners. You have a picture of balls, uh, pharmaceuticals, and picture on the bottom of a bunch of fruits and vegetables that are placed together in a picture, and then the DNA, the double helix, which is the genetic information that makes up your body. These are all things that are, we could study them and study different kinds of chemistry because they're all different. There are many different branches of chemistry. Everything is around you is chemistry. We, break, we have broken down chemistry into two main two main uh, parts. <clears throat> One are things that can be measured qualitatively and the other is quantitatively. Qualitative, you notice on this picture here that the first, um, I've got my cursor on the top word here, the first four letters are qual on the left and the first letters on the right are quant. Okay. So if you think about it, you can think of words, important words like quality. Okay, Quality is a measurement that you make with your senses. Okay, It's what you can see, what you can smell, what you can taste, what you can touch. Those are qualities, and we call those qualitative. Quantitative are observations that you make with measurements so you'll have numbers. It's not enough just to say tall or short. You need to actually have a measurement for a quantitative observation. So instead of saying, I am tall, you would have to measure yourself and you'd have to say, I am, I am six feet tall. And that would be the quantity. Okay, so for qualitative observations, color, shape, texture, smell, hardness, would be examples of qualities of a of a kind of matter okay whether it's a desk a person a chair a plant anything quantitative these are things you measure with mass you measure with a balance length you measure with a meter stick or a ruler volume you can measure with a graduated cylinder or by multiplying length times width times height. Those would give you measurements. So here we have some gummy worms, and we can think of some qualitative observations for each one of these things here. So you have qualities of this. The color would be, for the bottom one, would be red and yellow. The shape is a long tubular shape. Okay, the texture would be kind of rubbery. Okay, the smell, depending on what the flavor is, this one maybe is made of cherry, and you would say it smells like cherries. And then the hardness would be, and this one here would be fairly soft. Okay, to measure the mass of this, you would need a, a balance, and if we put it on a balance, you'd get a measurement of it, and maybe it weighed 5.00 grams, and you just write that. For the length, you'd have to take a a meter stick or just a ruler and measure it you say okay from this point here to this point here it's 6.5 centimeters okay and then for the volume 
Well, for this one here, you'd have to measure the volume by water displacement. Put it in the put a volume of water in there in a cylinder. Put the worm in the cylinder and you measure the volume before you put the worm in and then after you put it, the worm in and the difference in the two volumes would be, give you the volume of this worm. Let's just say that it's 2.5 cubic centimeters or milliliters. Here's another object and we could take some time to make observations about this one here too. Remember the qualitative observations, color, shape, texture, smell, hardness quantitative mass, diameter, and volume. You can make your own observations about that. And that's all that we have for that, for those notes, qualitative and quantitative. Make sure you write and ask questions if you're not sure about something.